This meeting is being recorded. So, um, see, the main purpose of JavaScript is to manage uh, the stuff on internet, right? It is a la internet for uh, it's a language for internet, basically. Okay, and it works very well with HTML. Do you have any exposure to HTML? Yeah, little bit the for the X path and all that, sir. Perfect. Okay, so um, uh, see, we can do it uh, on Notepad as well. Okay, but we'll prefer a tool. And yes, Visual Studio yeah. Code. Yeah. Okay, VS Code is the uh, best um, code editor. Okay, so you can go to Visual Studio Code. Okay, and you can go and download it. Okay. And you can download it and install it. It's it's simple. Okay. It's not going to take much of your effort. You can download it and install it. Uh, and when you install it, and if you type which when you type uh, VS code, okay, you'll get the editor here. Okay. So I accept. Next. So what happened? Oh, I already have it. Why it's asking me to install it? Okay, I think probably you clicked on wrong this thing. Okay, or uh, okay. So open Visual Visual Studio Code. Okay, and you say open. Earlier it was trying to go to I think app. Here, if you do, it will open up. Okay. Okay. So, okay. And I'm going to. So, do you know any idea how to write in a Cypress? It must be same or more different. Um, so, maybe, you know, uh, when we meet on Saturday, okay, we'll mm -hmm. talk more about Cypress then. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Uh, okay. We will we'll dedicate Saturday only for Cyprus. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So okay, and here if you go, you'll say file new. Okay, and you can give uh, the file name file as name? yeah file new, and you can give file name. Don't give space in file name. Okay. File name should okay. not have space, and you can give, let's say, practice one dot HTML maybe. Okay. okay, and then create this new file, and you can create a folder, and you can save this here. Okay, so once you save it, you get this editor. Okay, and uh, mm -hmm. so um, how does uh, uh, do you know? Uh, uh, like what is the default command that we write in uh, HTML? When you write HTML, yeah, when you create a HTML page, what do we write here? Mm, don't remember, sir. Okay, so yes. Um, so the thing is, okay, it is all. It always starts with uh, this default code called head. No, first yes. HTML, sorry. Okay. And then it will have an HTML here. So, okay, to so indicate that you are doing HTML5. Now, yeah. when you go to this HTML, okay, inside HTML, we have two um, code, right? You have, again, head. Okay. And HTML will have open and close tag. Okay. So, open yes, tag right. is right and close tag. Yeah. That's and then yeah. you have head and you have body, correct? Yeah. Generally, okay, the script will Body be written will be un inside the ending head, right? No, 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 no. Body is outside. Head is where so this content is not displayed, but all the information like header, okay, uh, like you mm -hmm. have title here, okay, yes. title, uh, learning, mm -hmm. HTML yeah, and javascript something like that so this will appear on the top of the page so whatever we do this here uh, uh, whatever we do in head is not to appear on the body okay not appear on the page but these are like you know when you give the meta description when you give 
you know all those information that we are required uh, for better um, um, sometimes you know like title is displayed on the screen uh, not on the screen on the tab um, you want to do some kind of seo those things are written here in the in the head okay whatever you do in the body that appears as a text so if i say um, hello everyone how are you doing okay so now when i yeah. run this i can go and say run and i can say start debugging or run without debugging right so I'm, if I'm very sure that there's no error, I'll go with run without debugging. Okay. And okay, it you gives, get choice. Right. Which one do you want to open? Right. Chrome or Edge. Oh. Because output is always on the uh, browser. Right. So you click on Chrome here. Okay. So you see here. Okay. This is the mm. page. And whatever we wrote in the, in the body is appeared here. And if you take your cursor, uh, cursor here, see learning html and javascript this is the header so whatever title title which is in the head okay yeah. so whatever we do in the head doesn't appear okay content appears here okay now if you go back here okay we will write our something called a script okay and the main code of a javascript will be here okay Hmm. Okay, got it, sir. Okay. And here we can write our uh, logic. So let's say I want to display a message. Okay. So we have alert. Alert is used to display a message. Alert is a function of JavaScript. Okay. And if I say here alert, Welcome to JavaScript the learning session, right? And now mm -hmm. I can go and I can say refresh. Okay, so see, uh, okay, you get this welcome to JavaScript learning session because we give that alert, okay? Alert will display. Alert is in the header, not in the body. So it is displayed okay. before the body is displayed, right? Now, what oh, is okay. Now, see, I did not save it because there's an option here. If you go to see auto save option is here. If you click on auto save, the content, whatever you're typing is automatically saved. Okay. Otherwise okay. you have to manually go and save. So you can check that option automatically saved. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, okay. So this is the first command. Okay, welcome alert. to Java. Right, alert. So before body will pass, the it will give alert message that welcome to JavaScript learning. Whenever, whenever you want to pass, in, in the sense, you know. Got it, got it, sir. Yeah. That's actually the command. Alert is the command. Correct. Okay. Okay. Now, how do we give a comment? Okay. So comment is given in hash, double hash, just like C, C++. Okay. I'm oh, going okay. to say. Uh, this play uh, a welcome message okay mm -hmm. so when i say welcoming it uh, you know displaying a welcome message that's a comment okay comment of course you know that uh, you know um it's not going to be read by the computer right okay so uh now let's say we want to declare a variable right so i declare a variable again variable can be numeric can be a string right string or float yeah yes so um i want to display let's say um let's say name okay so see when you are declaring so here you have two parts declaring a variable and assigning a value okay so when you're displaying a very, uh, you know, uh, when you're assigning a value to a variable, we always say let. Okay. So let name equal to, let's say Sachin. So I am declaring a variable name and I'm, you know, giving name to Sachin here. 
okay and i can give this thing declaring not sorry <laughs> I, this is the python thing okay declaring and assigning value to a variable okay now okay so th uh, this is uh, declaring a string value i can declare a variable also say num1 equal to 50 okay let num2 equal to 60 i want to change the value of num1 to say 40 i'll change it to 40 okay now i can um, i can say uh, let sum equal to num1 plus num2 correct okay, right? so i have just declared these values here name num1 num2 i can change the variable name okay i can perform different operations of course we'll do you know all these operations in some time okay now you can also just like cc plus plus you can give a multi line comment okay so see when you put double slash it's a single line comment and if you want to give multi line you have to say hash star and then close by ha star hash okay and you can give any comment here saying you know welcome to my or you know creating a welcome message for my for the got it sir here you can give multiple lines right yes differences. yes yeah just like selenium sir this one hmm. cc plus also has something similar okay thank you go ahead uh, something like this you can have multiple line comments okay so um Okay, so see, there are three types of uh, uh, declaring a JavaScript variable. Okay, <clears throat> let me tell you. There are three ways basically to use numbers. First is called var. Okay, second is your let. Third is constant. Okay, so see, variables are basically nothing, you know, we call it as containers, isn't it? Okay, so, uh, uh, you know, you can um, um, uh, uh, so I use let right. So let me give some example here as var. Okay. So I'll say var examples. And let's say, okay, you can say num3. So var num3 or num1 and 2 are used, right? Let's say equal to 50. Var num4 equal to 90 okay and here you can say where someone equal to num3 plus num4 right so you can use where also and you can use let also okay what is the difference okay so see now when i run this okay so what did you get looks like browser uh, already running from okay cancel and we go to chrome right okay so this var okay is for older versions of 
versions of JavaScript. Okay, let is used in the newer version. Okay. So I said, right, this is used in older version of JavaScript. Okay, so this is the preferred way. Okay, I think this is used from version 15, I guess. Okay, 2015. So if you want your users to, um, to, um, or you know, you want your applications to run even an older version, preferred mm -hmm. method is use var. Okay. But if use where where first where. okay yeah okay but on the newer so old new uh, older version will not support let okay 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 um so now if you see it okay so this is okay third type is your constant okay now Constant is used when you do not want someone to change the value. Okay. So, for example, um, I say constant, okay, const um, pi. Pi is 3.14. Right. And now I say pi equal to 4. Okay. Okay, so uh, okay, um, so this will actually, you know, uh, if you try to run here, right, it will not work actually. Okay, it's not going to, um, so you cannot reassign, you cannot change it, okay. So it should give a uh, error. Okay. So this one, okay, because you can't see the error here. Okay. Or see, there is another way to run it. Another way to run it is right click here and say um, inspect. Okay. If you click on inspect, you will see the code here. Okay. Where console, do you see console here? Console. And you can type your program here also. So if I say constant pi equal to 3.14, and then I say pi equal to 4. Sir, console, that's a DevOps side, right? No, no, no. This yes. is console of where you can type the program. See, where you can type the program is called console. So Python will also have console. You know, JavaScript also has console. Console is where you can type your Do code. You how do you got console? You did right click and then you inspect. got this console. Inspect, yes, yes, yes. Okay, right click inspect. Right click and, and inspect, yeah. Yeah, or you can also, uh, if I remember correctly, okay, let me close it, okay. And then you say control shift J will also control take you to console J. J. Control shift J, okay. Okay. So this will also mm -hmm. give you um, uh, the same console here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, so if I, okay, I'm showing you, right? If I say constant pi equal to 3.14, and now if I say mm -hmm. pi equal to four, okay, if I hit enter, so see, uncaught type error. So it's going to give you error. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you cannot change the value of constant. Okay. 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 Now you have um, uh, you have multiple operations, right? So like adding, yeah. subtracting, multiplication. Okay. Mm. So. Um, so let's say I say here, let 
num1 equal to 50 oops already been declared okay this already has it right so i can say num1 equal to 40 and num2 equal to say 20 okay mm -hmm. now if you want to add two numbers you say num1 plus num2 okay minus mm -hmm. num1 minus num2 okay you get and if you want to change the here the num1 value you can i did no i changed it correct here num1 it's equal to 40, 40. yeah oh, okay so it will uh, it will take the recent value only right not yeah, the yeah. previous one yes, yes. okay num1 equal okay. to 10 and i say num1 minus num2 minus mm -hmm. 10 okay you can say num1 into num2 okay so num1 into num2 mm -hmm. right um, um num1 okay divided by num2 so mm -hmm. 0.5 okay okay so uh, okay so till here it is all same in python c c plus plus okay in javascript you can also say num1 star star num2 and so it is true in python also what happens is it gives a power <coughs> so it is like 10 to the power 20 okay 10 to the power 20 so you get 10 to the 20 zeros okay you want to find modulus modulus is like getting the remainder so you oh, say okay. num or you can okay let me use different thing uh, 14 percentage 3 okay so 14 percentage 3 14 gets divided by 4 4 into 3 12 right and the remainder is 2 so you get 2 as the remainder mm -hmm. you can also do an increment okay so num1 minus minus so num1 was oops okay now i say num1 you get nine see that because num1 minus minus is like saying num1 equal to num1 minus one num1 equal to num1 minus one again if i say num1 plus plus oops num num1 not num num1 plus plus okay and i type num1 to so get 10 mm -hmm. okay so because plus plus will add one minus minus yes okay you you can also do shorthand notation shorthand notation means if you have um, uh, if you want to um you have an equal to variable and you want to do something with the same equal to variable you have num1 and you want to uh, multiply num1 with something else you want to multiply something with num1 and store in the num1 only okay so something like if i have to say num1 equal to num1 plus 10 or 50 okay num1 equal to num1 plus 50 this can be done as num1 plus equal to 50 okay mm -hmm. so num1 mm -hmm. you'll keep it 50 you'll keep it and you will remove the middle value come common thing right num1 is common so remove it and change the sign plus equal to becomes equal to plus and this you can do with all the um all the arithmetic operators that we have seen. So we have seen plus minus into division, um, mm -hmm. uh, modulo and power exponential. Okay, so this is called as assignment operators. Okay, you are assigning in a short hand notation. Okay, you can even okay um, add text. 
So for example, okay, if I go here, okay, and I say alert, welcome to, this is one string and name is another string, isn't it? Where did I say name? Name is another string. So I'll mm -hmm. say plus name. Okay. okay so now if I it. go, yeah, and I hit enter, so see, oops, no. Oh, oh, okay. So, I didn't see that. Welcome to JavaScript learning session. There's no name here, right? Okay. So, if I do a message equal to Okay, let me close it and let me run again. Okay, so the see now there's the error here. Okay, can you tell me what is the error? Okay, it says debugging error, right? We shouldn't do that, correct? We shouldn't change the value of a constant. Okay. So this is constant and everything it's within a tool only, right? I get easily. I don't have to download any dependency. No, or no, 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 no. Okay. XML. Correct. You don't have to because uh, it is, uh, okay, I need to delay, close it. Because it is a browser based thing, internet. Okay. You just need a browser. That's all. Okay. So see, welcome to JavaScript session, Sachin. Probably I was not refreshing it. You should refresh it, then you'll get it. Correct? Did you get it? Yeah. So you can add a two string. If you're adding two string, it'll get concatenated. Okay. Yes, sir. So sometimes, okay, uh, it's easier to, for learning, it is easier to go and practice it because you know, you can get the faster result, right? So let's say yeah. again, I go and say control shift, or you can even go here, you know, if you could do alt F here. Um, I think, uh, no, not here. Okay, so you can do you can do right click inspect or this one, right? So here, let's say I have um, num one. Let's say I'll use num four or I'll use num nine equal to sixteen. Okay, and I'm saying uh, name equal to Kohli. Okay. And now if I say name plus num9, okay? So see, technically speaking, this should give error, okay? Why? Because one is string and other is number, right? But mm -hmm. what it does is it actually can't when you but it's in a uh, this thing, right? Explanation marks is not explanation. No, num, so num, no, number is not in uh, quotation. It's not number, number nine, right? Yeah, number nine is not in, okay. Number nine is 16, isn't it? This I have not yeah. in quotation, right? But, okay. but what it does is it will convert into, uh, you know, uh, into string. Okay. It converts oh. into string. For that you are using some commands, sir. No, no. I see, I have done in front of you only. No, it will Achha. convert automatically. 
Okay, so mm -hmm. okay, so we have looked at um, string. Okay, uh, okay, one interesting thing. So let's say you have twenty plus thirty. plus 10, yeah, plus mm -hmm. hello. See what it did. So it is evaluating from left to right, okay? It is evaluating from left to right. So 20 yes. plus 30 is 50, 50 plus 10 is 60. So since it is evaluating and both are the two elements that it, it is operating on are all numbers. So it is adding 20 plus 30, 50. 50 plus 10, 60. 60 plus hello, hello is string, so it becomes 60 hello. Correct. Okay. So, yeah. Sir, so using this tool, Visio, in that automatically you will get all this. But if I have to do what some is other this Visio tool? tool? This is not, this is you know, editor only, you can do it here or you do it here. If you do it here also, you're getting output there. It's the same thing. Achha, haan, haan. Sorry, sorry, here, this one is visual, sorry. Visual Forgot Studio. It. Now, mm -hmm. the thing is, that's what I'm saying, don't practice. You have the recording, now you can practice this later, just focus here. Now, see, okay, okay. the thing is, this is getting saved. Okay, you have mm -hmm. given a file name, this whatever you do here will be saved. But when you do here, this is not going to get saved. This is to Got temporarily it. check what is happening if I do this. Okay. The moment I go and refresh this page. Okay. Now it's gone. It did not save. Okay. It, did not, it will not change the code that you have. Yes, sir. Okay. It's not going to change the code that you have. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, um, okay. Now let's look at the data types. We'll do data types and we'll stop here for today. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we have done num, uh, you know, uh, integer and this string. Uh, string. So you can even yeah, say, yeah, okay. let x1 equal to 5.5. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let x2 equal to 6.4. And then you can say x1 plus x2. 11.9. You get 11.9. Make sense? Okay. So mm -hmm. this is your uh, <clears throat> no update that we uh, generally make to the float value, right? Okay. Yeah. Now let's say, um, if I have to 
okay so uh, let's say um, string itself okay um, string itself Uh, so see uh, i want to show the Plus me. Usage of single quote and double quote. Okay. Okay. And do you do name uh, plus here? Sorry? Plus name. Okay, ma'am. Sorry. So my, uh, sir, here in message, welcome to JavaScript. Uh -huh. Double quote and then plus name. Are mm -hmm. you doing concatenate? Con what do you call concatenating or what is it, sir? Yes, it's concatenating. You are not mm -hmm. focusing on the screen, ma'am. This we did <laughs> five minutes back. Okay, okay. So please look at the screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now see usage of. So yes, here we are concatenating. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I was talking about usage of double quote and single quote. When to use double quote, when to use single quote. Okay. Now um, you can say here, okay. Now you can say let uh, str1 equal to hello. And you can also say let str2 equal to single quote. How are you? Both are accepted way. But when to use single quote and when to use double quote? So see, you might have um, something like, you know, I want to print my name. Okay. Or, okay, or let's say something like this. Let's go. Okay. Now I want to print let's go. Uh, in this case, okay, if I say str1 equal to single quote, okay, let's go. What happens is this two, okay, has um, same quote, right? So this uh, apostrophe s is like a closing bracket for the first quote. Okay, you cannot give. So in such oh. case, we prefer that, okay, since single quote is there inside, let's put double quote here. So okay. that the single quote is not treated like a closing quote. And if you have something like, he said, what's your name? Okay. Okay. In this case, you can Use single quote. Yes, you can use ting single quote. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this will be perfectly fine. No problem with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can also have a boolean operators. Okay, boolean operators means what is boolean it will have true or false correct boolean has true and false okay this is how we write in javascript so let's say um, okay let's say um, num1 equal to 50 and num2 equal to 60 okay and if i mm -hmm. say num1 equal to equal to num2. See, single equal to is used for assignment, right? And double equal to is used for comparing the value. 
okay okay double equal that? single Achha. equal to is used for assigning and double equal to is used for comparing the values okay so if i have to compare the value i'll say num1 equal to num2 okay okay and got it in this case since it is they are not same okay it will return you value false now if i say num1 yes. less than num2 it becomes true here true correct okay because the values are correct Mm -hmm. So you can have um, uh, you know condition like if okay num one less than num two okay and we give this in bracket actually so I'll give this bracket and I can say alert num one is smaller than num2 okay so now when you go and refresh this page uh, okay let me i need to do the uh, reload here okay <laughs> um uh, or better still i will close and start again then i think it should be better okay so um, i'll close it and then come here and i say run table see num1 is smaller than num2 yes okay now again if if it is greater if you put it as 80 and then if you run obviously not this will not be printed okay because this you know num2 is not smaller than num now i mean num1 is not smaller than num2 in this case this Correct. becomes false yes. mm -hmm. okay okay so let's discuss one last concept for the day okay. you have something mm -hmm. called as array here okay yeah now, okay sorry one more thing i have not been doing it because i don't lost the habit of putting semicolon see javascript i requires a semicolon okay this is not javascript sorry okay, okay required semicolon to indicate the end of line okay but again okay. this is not mandatory okay this is not mandatory Okay, if you don't put, you don't get any error. Yes. That's what we seen by the time. Correct. Okay. Okay. But, but if generally, you put, it's good. Yes, exactly. So that you know, you know that okay, it is end of line types. Okay. Okay. Yes. So we have array. So we have seen integer, uh, float, string. We have seen boolean also. Mm -hmm. And last thing is array. Array is very similar to uh, what we have here in Python called list. Now you can say let array one equal to okay. Okay, and you can say the gen okay, comma here. Okay, you can put multiple values like this in an array. Mm -hmm. This is called defining array. Mm -hmm. yes, okay, sir. sure. So I'll stop here. Please practice this. Okay, 
tomorrow morning and we'll continue we'll, you know we will still look at different types of fields we'll talk about object okay we will slightly increase okay. our complexity okay okay yes sir okay we'll see you tomorrow i'll send the code as well as this link okay okay sir so tomorrow seven o'clock right yes yes seven. okay sir